Hey YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Alyssa Marie, just in case you're new. Special welcome to you, I'm so glad that you're here. So today's video is another video sponsored by Sephora and I'm really, really honestly so excited to share with you something that might really change the game. It's called the Sephora Hair Care Finder and if you have ever been a curly girl that just feels super overwhelmed, like with all the product choices, all the different brands that are out there now, if you've ever felt overwhelmed, this video is gonna be so perfect for you because I'm gonna show you how you can get customized product suggestions for you based on your specific hair concerns. And then I'm also gonna like use it personally myself. We're gonna get into a really fun demo and tutorial of two products that were suggested specifically for me. So we're really gonna see if this hair care finder actually works. Like are the suggestions actually good? But anyways, I'm about ready to go ahead and jump into this video. Before we do though, please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel if you like what you see, okay? And then also make sure you hit that notification bell as well if you want to be one of the first people notified every single time a new video is dropped. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump straight in. The whole star of this video is going to be the Sephora Hair Care Finder. Now this is a really fun quiz that they have online on Sephora.com as well as on their Sephora app and basically it is gonna be the key to all of your curly girl problems I've been noticing lately that Sephora has been really coming through with adding a lot more products for curly girls and I'm definitely so here for that but at the same time when you have so many different products to choose from I know from like first-hand experience, it can actually be a little bit difficult. Like you end up getting overwhelmed and you don't know, should I try this one, should I try this one? So they have now introduced their Sephora Hair Care Finder, which is a really fun quiz that you can take. And then at the end, it spits back a whole bunch of product suggestions based on your specific hair concerns. So this really kind of takes the guesswork out of the entire process of trying to find the right products for your curls. All right, so let me go ahead and show you guys exactly what this hair care finder looks like. So I'm just going into the Sephora app on my phone. At the bottom here, I'm just gonna click shop and then we're gonna click on hair. So at the bottom here, you can see it says hair struggles, find so right for you solutions, take the hair quiz. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. And then that's gonna take you straight to the hair care finder. So you can just go right ahead and and tap on the screen and that is where the quiz will start. So first, what's your biggest hair concern? A lot of times for me, my biggest hair concern is damage. Y'all already know I'm so, so obsessed with making sure that my curls stay nice and healthy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click damage. My hair is curly. And then I'm also thinking about a treatment today and not really one of the masks or the oils. I'm leaning more towards the scalp and hair treatments. So ta-da, hello hair goals. I love that, that is so cute. But here you can see they're giving you all kinds of results based on your specific hair concerns that you put when you were taking the quiz. I really love this because just by scrolling through on this list, there are a number of products listed down here that I've actually never used before. So this is now like a really great opportunity for me to feel comfortable using these new products because I know that these specific products are gonna target my specific hair concerns. All right, so now it is about to be demo time. I wanna show you guys a quick demo and an in-depth review on two product suggestions that I received from my hair care finder results. So first, let's get into this Olaplex number zero intensive bond building hair treatment kit. So the kit comes with the number zero product itself in a full size bottle. And it also comes with a little mini version of the Olaplex hair perfector, which is their number three treatment. Now you guys always hear me talk about Olaplex number three hair perfector all the time and ever since the number zero dropped recently i've been getting so many messages from you guys wanting me to do a review so here we go so first i'm just going to go straight in with the number zero and i'm applying it to dry hair i'm making sure to section out my hair because you got to make sure that your hair is nice and saturated from root to tip now with this brand new number zero this is actually meant to be a primer for the number three hair perfector. So you guys know like how for makeup, you have primer for the skin that's meant to go on the skin before you put on makeup and it's meant to make your makeup look better, last longer, and just be overall like more flawless. The number zero is actually meant to work in the same exact kind of way. So basically it's meant to prime your hair and make the number three hair perfector work even better than it would on its own. I really like that the number zero is a liquid because I already know that my hair receives product better once it's a little bit wet, a little bit more damp. So just by this already dampening my hair a little bit, I can already kind of tell that my hair might actually receive the number three better than it would on a normal basis by itself. 
So after I'm finished applying the number zero treatment, I'm just gonna go ahead and let this sit for 10 minutes and then we're gonna come on right back and apply the number three hair perfecter directly on top of that. So we're not rinsing out the number zero or anything, you literally leave it in and apply the hair perfecter directly on top. For the hair perfecter, I am making sure to comb this through. This product does have a little bit more slip and in combination with the number zero, which is already on our hair, it kind of makes it easier for your fingers to just kind of glide right on through. I'm also making sure to spend a little bit extra time on my ends and just give them a little bit of extra product. This is the oldest part of your hair, so you always, always wanna make sure you give it a little bit of extra love on all your wash days. So for those who may be new here, the number three perfecter is a bond builder. So it's really just meant to repair the damaged bonds in your hair. It really doesn't matter what type of damage it is, any type of damage that's there, it just works to fix it, repair it, and then bring back some juicy, healthy, happy hair strands. So the hair perfecter is definitely something that is a staple in my natural hair regimen, and I do use this weekly. So I'm actually gonna be a really good person to judge whether or not this actually amplifies the results. So once the number three hair perfecter has been completely applied throughout my entire head of hair I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for another 10 minutes and then once the time has passed I'm just gonna go ahead rinse it out and then start my wash day as normal so yes you can think of this duo of products as a pre cleanse treatment so the next product that also came up as a product suggestion for me when I did the Sephora hair care finder is the Amika flash instant shine hair gloss mask so this product is super unique for two reasons first it is a a liquid consistency yes a liquid hair mask for me personally I'm definitely a lot more accustomed to the more thick and creamy type of hair masks so I'm not gonna lie at first when I saw this was liquid I was like oh my goodness is this really gonna work but girl the second thing that was very different for me was that this hair mask actually started foaming once I started combing it through my curls you'll see it a little bit here like you can really see how foamy it is but it honestly felt so good. You can see my curls are popping. They're looking a little bit defined. So this product, even though it was a liquid consistency, really kind of took me by surprise in the way that it felt and worked in my curls as I'm applying it. So this is a juicy hair mask that's really just meant to leave your hair super moisturized and shiny. So these are the kind of results that I'm going to be looking for at the end. I love the fact that it has hydrolyzed flaxseed in it, which provides lots of moisture and will also help to encourage curl definition. I mean, you guys can see, even right now as I'm combing it through, it is already starting to make these curls pop. So whenever I'm doing my hair mask, I always love to twist my hair into little sections. I just find that this helps to increase my level of curl definition. I think my favorite part about this product is how quickly it's meant to work. It's literally supposed to work in 60 seconds and that's it. Like that's literally the whole gist of this product it's called flash instant shine mask and I'm already noticing that by the time I'm finished twisting everything the ones that I twisted first at the back are already done and ready to be washed out so here are the results and honestly I am so so shook I have already added all of these products directly to my Sephora favorites blog post so y'all can go ahead and check them out there but seriously shook so how are we liking my results from my product suggestions from the hair care finder? Do you guys see the shine? My hair is not normally this level of shiny, okay? And I'm really, really into this right now. They were not lying when they said instant shine mask, okay? Honestly, I have to say that this product is not something that I would have looked at and actually purchased personally. But the fact that I put in my hair concerns in the hair care finder and then it suggested it to me. I was like, hey, okay, why not? And I feel like now I was able to get a holy grail product because of the Sephora hair care finder. Like, I'm a little bit shook. In terms of these bad boys, I love the way they work together. Honestly, all three of these on one wash day literally gave me better results than I was ever even expecting. Like, I was a little bit skeptical about the primer. I'm like, does, like how much better could it actually make hair perfecter because y'all hear me talk about this all the time say how good it is how holy grail it is so i was like how much better could it actually really be but honestly i mean i don't know if you guys can tell but these are next level results that we got today like i know y'all have seen my other wash and go videos and they're great like the curls are juicy but this is next level 
juicy and shiny and I just I really feel like this actually kind of did enhance the hair perfecter. Another thing I liked about it is that the fact that it was a liquid consistency, it actually made my number three hair perfecter a lot easier to comb through my curls. So will I be officially using these together going forward? Yes, and I definitely do 110%. 10 out of 10 recommend. I also do recommend all three of these on one wash day as well. If you feel like you're struggling with some damage and with some dryness and maybe a little bit of dullness, this combination right here will fix you right up. I'm sure you all also have your own specific hair concerns, so I definitely suggest you go ahead and check out the Sephora Hair Care Finder as well so you can get your specific product suggestions as well. Because honestly, you might just come out with your best wash day yet. Everything that I did mention in this video, including the Sephora Hair Care Finder, are all linked below in the description box. So if you want to check it out, all the deets are there. If you have any additional questions for me, go ahead and make sure you comment them below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Bye!